Hello my friends, this is Ian and welcome to this, the combination of two prompts for Inktober 2018. These are prompts for day five and six, so they are chicken and drooling. I decided to combine them together because uh, I'd run out of time to do two separate pictures, so I kind of squeezed them into one thing. And I don't know what to say about this one, I kind of love it. It feels more like the kind of thing that I was doing for my uh, five word suggestions has got much more of a cartoony feel to the final piece and I'm I'm really happy with it. There's a lot of uh, interesting expressions and stuff going on. I, I really enjoy it. But uh, essentially my idea was to create some kind of a giant mutated mutant chicken um, that's drooling. That, that was essentially all it was, was a drooling chicken, but I wanted to make it giant mutant chicken. So uh, I put these uh, couple of figures into the foreground uh, to scientists who been playing around with science that perhaps they shouldn't have been and have inadvertently created this giant monstrosity of a chicken that's uh, just thrown everything around them and uh, is knocking everything about and that's that's basically all that there is to it so uh, as far as uh, its likeness to five word suggestions would go I guess uh, science creates giant drooling chicken there you go, that's five words. I decided to make the chicken itself featherless. Uh, I thought that would give it a slightly more disturbing look than having it all feathered and just being a giant chicken. It makes it a little bit more unique and definitely makes the scene have a little bit more visual interest than just giant chicken. Now, to the best of my knowledge, chickens don't drool. I'm, I think I can say with a certain amount of certainty that chickens don't traditionally drool, but there's nothing to say that a giant mutant chicken wouldn't drool, so yeah, and it's a odd look, I must admit, having like saliva drooling out of a chicken, it just doesn't feel right somehow I, I every time I look at it I'm just kind of going no that that doesn't look right and I don't know whether I could claim that that's adding to the piece in any way I I, I had to put it in there because it was one of the prompts and I couldn't think of another way of incorporating drooling uh, other than to have the chicken drooling I could have had one of the scientists drooling maybe have them leering over the uh, freshly made giant chicken who's calm in this particular image uh, with like a uh, knife and fork and the two scientists are drooling over it. Perhaps that would have made more sense than having the chicken drooling, but hey, I wanted my giant mutant chicken running amok. I didn't want it just sitting calmly in the picture in the background or being scared. I wanted it being giant and mutated and knocking stuff over. That's way cooler. Go giant chicken, go. I think it turned out as a really fun piece. It's the, a lot less serious than uh, some of my previous ones and I I really like it. I hope you enjoy it as well. So we are now on day eight of Inktober and I am running a couple of videos behind. I have had time to do all of the artworks so far, so I am actually up to date. I'm about to start working on uh, the today's one, which is Star, um, but I am a few videos behind just because of time constraints and things which are happening which is stopping me from having enough time during the day to uh, get the, the videos edited and uploaded. So I'm going to continue doing that, I'm going to continue doing the artworks on the day of the Inktober prompt day? 
if that makes sense. And what I'll probably most likely do is put a picture or a teaser of that image up on my Instagram. Not that I've used Instagram for a little while, but I'll probably do that. So if you want to see them as and when they are done, then you can go there and uh, and see them then. But then the videos will come out a day or so late. I'm going to be do making a drive over the next couple of days to catch up with the videos and hopefully I I will uh, I will be able to do that and there won't be too big a delay between the actual day that I draw the video and the uh, day that I release the video so hopefully things won't fall too far behind but uh so now you know if for whatever reason I don't have a video come out uh, for a day or two it's not because I've dropped off the face of the earth again it's simply that I've run out of time to edit the video and uh, and release it for you guys but uh, I am thinking of you and I am grateful for everybody who has been uh, following along this series uh, even though it's been a while since uh, I've managed to upload anything so thank you for sticking around I really do do appreciate it. You are appreciated. But yeah, let me know what you think of that idea of me uploading an image of these to Instagram or something when it's done. Uh, I do have an Instagram account. Like I say, I don't use it all that often. Uh, I should put a link to it in the description below this video. So if you uh, want to follow me over there and see these as and when they're completed, then uh, then uh, you can. You can click that link and you can head on over there. So we are now approaching the end of this video. I know I haven't spoken particularly about any of the technical aspects of what I'm doing, but it's all identical to things that I've done previously uh, just using my mechanical pencils to do the sketch work and then my porky pen for the line work and then the aquash pens for the shading and that's really it nothing special here at all um, but I hope you have enjoyed this video regardless it's been a lot of fun to make if you have enjoyed this video and my nonsensical ramblings, then please do make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you have not already and you want to see me create more things with my hands. And as always, guys, please do take care and I will see you next time.